world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, we're going to bry in a little while, so it means we have to make a knife video. Okay, this is the perfect time because tomorrow my brother is going to give me a copy, a made in Germany one, which means it's at least 34 years old because South Africa started making a copies in 1988. Although they were sold here in South Africa from Germany since 1902. Yeah, check me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Anyway, um, so yes, I want to show you a few different copies. Somebody asked me, how do you spot a fake copy? And then tomorrow or whenever we will show you how to restore an old copy. Okay, so let's start with the biggest one I have. This thing had a coating on it and it had a horrible handle on it. Now it still has a horrible handle on it, but it's a horrible handle I made. Anyway, um, but this is a Ukapi machete. Okay, you can still buy these things from some places. And I think that's 1095. Same as this one, uh, 1095 Ukapi. Let's see if we can see there. Uh, superior quality Ukapi made in New Germany. Okay. Um, as they moved their plants, the name changed from South Africa to New Germany. And it was Germany in the beginning, which is in actual Germany. Okay, so this is like the little butcher knife. Now, I love this thing. It's got a bit of flex to it. Wonderful little thing. Okay, very inexpensive plastic handle, but it works fantastic. Um, also, you can see the patina that was building on there. Okay, then something different. A copy folding saw, okay, which is the same as the normal ratcheting copies, but it's the saw. Then, okay, then let's go to this one. This is a normal made in Germany. Can you see that? Made in Germany, a copy. Beautiful. You can see it's two pieces of wood, but it's better wood than they use today. Beautiful little thing with the little bail here at the front. Wonderful. Okay, so this one, I don't know how old it is. I got this one, I think, from my grandfather. So it must be very old. Now, look at the grinds on these things. It's flat. Well, actually, this one is not. It's got like a saber grind, but it looks like it's more on one side than on the other. Okay, now this was one of the very old ones okay but it's still in wonderful shape okay then let's look at this one this is the normal one we all know and love the big sable 1907 pattern made in south africa copy we've got a high carbon steel blade it's only ground on the one side it's flat on the other side we have the moon and the stars and then we have the ratchet over here now, this one works easier. You heard me with that saw. Now, this one, because it's been used a lot, it feels a bit easier to manipulate. Okay. Now, there are people that can flip these things open and whatnot, but I cannot do that. Okay, so this is the big sable, which is pretty much the same size as the original big um, non-ratcheting copy. Actually, let's quickly do this for a size comparison. Let me just get this a bit higher so I can maybe actually show you. Okay, um, don't let the perspective fool you. These things are pretty much exactly the same size. And then I have to bring out this thing, the Cold Steel Kudu Light, which is just a bit bigger than both of them. But it is still a wonderful knife made on the um, pretty much design of the Ukapi. Now, I love the Cold Steel Kudu Light. Um, Generally, I do not like these ratcheting ones. I know they lock and they're supposed to be safer, but if you work with a slip joint, you know you're working with a slip joint, so you will be safer anyway. Okay, so the Cold Steel Kudu, fantastic knife. I love this thing. For a braai knife, this thing is excellent. Hey, excuse me. Um, my kids were calling, and for some or other reason, my neighbor started leaf-blowing things now. Okay. Then we have this knife. This is the big sable, but the non-ratcheting one. And this is also a made in South Africa one. Can we see that? Yes, we can. Okay, so let me just bring back the ratcheting one. 
Okay, so you see it's pretty much the same thing, just the one has got the ratchet and the one does not. Yeah, you see pretty much exactly the same size, same length, same everything. But like I said, nothing wrong with the ratcheting one, I just like these ones more. Okay, it's a bit more user friendly. Then we have this one. Okay, now the originals have a bale on it. And I did have to repin this one a bit to get it to stick together. But this is the tartan. Now you get them in like fishing knives and all kinds of things. Now this is a ukapi made in South Africa. But this is like a more gentlemanly one. I really like this one. Okay. And then I made a little slip for it. So if I carry it, I carry it like that. Um, like I said, you get them with different color bolsters and things like that and whatnot. Then I have these two, the normal small flat ukapi and the boltong ukapi. But these ones were modified by Eki's knives, so I really like these ones. And I didn't take out any of the originals, but it's fine. They look like this, just not as cool. Let me just focus. Anyway, it says ukapi, made in South Africa, and then you see the battle scarring on it and whatnot. Um, you can go to Eki's knives on Instagram, and then he's got all kinds of things. He also makes... Um, custom knives and modifies everything but I really really like these two okay you see what he does to the wood and whatnot it looks fantastic and the heavy stone washing and things so these two are two of my favorites my little modified copies okay then this one this is a fake okay now I'm not sure why anybody would fake an copy but it's a smaller size than any of the other ones. It's got a very crisp bevel on both sides, which you can see, because most of them does not look like that. And then it's one piece of wood. Can you see that? So the fake actually looks better made than the real thing, but it's a fake. Okay, so if you have one that looks fantastic, And it looks like it's better quality, but you buy it for cheaper, then it's definitely one of these fake ones. Okay, and that's pretty much the only thing I can tell you. If you buy a copy and it looks really... Let me get something to compare it to. Okay, do you see this is round? This is more flat. You see this is one piece of wood? All the copies are like glued together pieces of wood. Okay, and then apart from that... Let's see if there's actually any difference in the... Oh yes, you can actually see a difference in the way it's been engraved. Okay, so very close, but yes. And then the one-sided bevel where this one has a saber grind and not a, what do you call that, chisel ground blade. Okay, so this is a fake... And the other ones are the real thing. So that's me with copies today. Um, tomorrow we'll restore an old one. We're just going to, I don't know, flush it out and maybe clean the blade a bit. Because um, it didn't look in such horrible shape. And then I'm going to call this one for today. So all of you stay safe, happy and have a good one. I think I'll show you when I pry now. Okay, goodbye.
Thank you.